Welcome. This is question number 19 on the TN Ready Math Practice Test for Grade 5. Question 19 is in subpart 2, so we could technically use calculator. I probably don't really need it here. Um, so the question says, what is the volume of this figure? Now, volume is a three-dimensional measure, which is why this is a three-dimensional figure. Um, it has length, width, and depth. It comes out at you. And uh, we need to find the volume. So volume is really a measure of how many one-by-one one blocks are in here. So the question they're really asking you is, how many of these cubes exist on this picture? And I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to look at it in a, a few ways. Sometimes it's difficult for, there are portions of uh, society that have a difficult time seeing three dimensions. I mean, it's just part of how they're, eyes process and that's okay so you have to come up with compensatory strategies like what are you going to do if you can't see it so I know that this section has uh, two groups so I have the group in the front and the group in the back so what I'm going to do is kind of remind myself of that by highlighting this out and you can use whatever tools that you want to make sure that happens sometimes I just use a shaded pencil so there's two rows so however many yellow ones I have, I have an equal number of orange ones. And I also know that this is the same piece, and I'm doing the whole front row. So all this is yellow. And they're not different ones, they're the same. And this. So these sets here. So I'm going to count the front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That's the front set. So I have fourteen in front. And remember, I said I had the same amount behind it, so you could do times two, or if you'd rather do add, that's fine. Plus fourteen, and you get fourteen plus fourteen equals twenty-eight. So your answer to number nineteen is R. Now. It's easy to get lost counting the tops. So your best bet is to pick one of the sides and just sort of shade it out with your pencil if you have it on paper or use one of the tools that you're given. Like I might do this. And I might even do a different type of shade for the back set on top. And I might do the side as well, because this is the same piece. I just need to visually remind myself it's the same part. It makes it much easier to do the counting part if you have trouble seeing it. If you, Many of you will not have any problem seeing it. It's not a problem. But it makes it much easier to count if you just take the parts, the, pick one side that they all show, and sort of shade out the rest so it's much easier to count your 14 there and then get your 28. And you just remember there's two groups of that together. They're not going to automatic if they show it to you like this, unless they say otherwise, it's not like they assume there's not a box behind this one, for instance. You couldn't see it. Same here. You have to assume that they are unless otherwise told. So just be aware of it. But if you have trouble seeing it and you have trouble counting and you double count, like I count this as one and this is two, just take a side that you're not counting and shade it out. That way it makes it easier for your brain to see how many there are and then be trustworthy or be mindful and trust the fact that it's the same amount behind it and you can get to the 28.